everyone, welcome to Art Club. I'm Miss Liz and today we're going to be creating a project in the Rangoli style of art. So something similar to this. If you have watched Art Club videos before, you know that we usually start and work on a project from beginning to end together. We're going to be doing it a little bit differently this time. We're going to practice the Rangoli style and then you're going to create whatever you would like to create. So if you prefer geometric shapes, you can make yours like that. If you prefer shapes that are more curved and almost like a, um, a flower, you can do that. You can even put them together. So hold on to your black paper until we get a little farther into this video and let's work on practicing. Before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about Rangoli. It is an art form in India, and typically it consists of making geometric shapes and designs on the floor using colored sand, petals, rice, or even flour. The word Rangoli is derived from Rangavali, and that is made up of two different words. Rang, which means color, and Avali, which means rows of colors. Rangoli is an old and beloved tradition um, that people use to make during the celebration of Diwali and other Hindu festivals. To find out more about Rangoli, you can check out this book from the library. Oh. There you go. And it's got just a little, one little chapter in here about Rangoli, but it's got so many so many more informative details about India in there that I think you'll really enjoy. Okay, let's go over what's inside the kits. So you're gonna find this really neat uh, craft pen in there. It's like a super awesome metallic marker. You are going to have a black piece of paper. There are dots on there, and I printed some on both sides, so you'll be able to make two project projects, or if you, um, don't like the first one that you make, you can flip it over and create another one. You're also going to get some white paper with dots and um, this is gonna be for practice. So I found the more that I practiced, the better I got at creating this style. And to give you some ideas of different things that you can make, you'll also find some uh, designs, some templates in there uh, this particular one is showing more geometric straight lines, but you'll find a couple of those in your kit as well. So let's go ahead and get out our white paper with the dots and we'll do some practice. So some of the samples that I created ahead of time, I was practicing, trying to get the hang of it and um, trying different uh, materials. This is construction paper with a white gel pen. The gel pen didn't look as nice as I wanted it to, so I bought these super cool markers and I think that really makes it stand out. We will talk more about uh, some of these samples during the video so you can uh, practice and create something really unique. All right, so here's one that I want to show you first. I enjoyed doing this one the most because it was very simple and all I was doing was drawing these um, oval type petal looking shapes. So I started in the middle. So there's nine dots this way and nine dots this way. So I started in the very middle and I just drew a circle and attached uh, to make this shape here in the middle and then just started creating these petal shapes. So I'm gonna show you how to create like that and you do not need to make your whole project like this but you can use the these in your project so one two three four five one two three four five see that's in the middle right there so you can draw a circle around it and then I just started um, from one dot and making a curve to the other dot like that. And then here's where I just started making those petal shapes. 
and I, I just curved it along like that. They're not all gonna be identical, but that's what makes your project unique. I did find that uh, sometimes it's easier if you turn your paper than trying to make your uh, shapes in, in an awkward position. And then um, here, there were no dots. So I started my own and just made a petal shape going up to this dot here. Like that. And then I created a nice long one going up here. So give that a try. See how comfortable that makes you feel. Some people prefer doing straight lines, but like I said, I really did enjoy doing this one with the curved lines. And then here's where I started to make another, like a smaller petal off to the side. All right, so go ahead. Uh, keep practicing on that and I'm going to get another one ready to show you. This next one is using all straight lines except for the circle there in the middle. So go ahead and uh, grab your practice paper and we'll practice one together. So again, let's find the center. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's the center. So you, you draw a circle, you can draw a square. I just somehow I like the circles right in the middle. So then I'm going to draw a line from inside the circle and I'm going to go through two up to two dots. One, two. And then in the opposite direction. This direction. And then um so the dots are lined up slightly different than uh, when you're gonna go on a diagonal. So I just went to one and a little bit farther. I didn't go all the way to that second one. So to one dot and then about halfway to the other one. One dot, halfway. It's just so fun because you can do any way that you really want to do. And then, from here, I was looking at it, trying to decide what do I want to draw next. So I decided to draw from this middle dot here and out. So when you're looking at this, you're seeing squares and diamonds. I didn't plan on making squares and diamonds. I just started in the center and worked my way out, and that's what I ended up with. So let's work on that. And you notice I turn my paper a little bit less because I think it's easier to draw straight lines without turning it. So then I decided to make these triangles here, these four triangles, the big ones. So I just did this. Just like that. So eventually you're picture is going to end up looking similar to this one if you keep going. So then I put a, put dots or lines here. And that almost reminds me of a snowflake. But then I thought, oh, I need to do something else. I'm just going to play around with it. So this is where the box came in like that. And there 
there you go. So go ahead, practice on that, and I'll get the next one ready. Okay, so this one um, turned out, it looks like a butterfly. It reminds me of a butterfly, but not really. It also reminds me of a unique flower. So um, this one, I had bigger, bigger um, curves to different uh, dots. So this one, if you want like bigger areas on your picture, I recommend like really thinking and planning it out. Like, like, you know, to get to this dot and this dot, you have to do like a wide curve, but then a shorter curve just to close it off and go to this dot. So let's give this a try. Again, we'll find the center. Right here. Now, hopefully I can do this again, we'll see. And I started up here. This is where I'm gonna start. And then I wanna get to, um, where do I wanna go? See, I can't remember what I did. Up here. So you might have, it might be a good idea to color in those dots so you have your goal of where you're going like that. And then down here, we'll start here and we will end up here. And then I closed it off like this. And sometimes it really is easier to do it in portions. Do one side and then do the other side instead of just going along. Um, it just depends on the artist. So now I'm gonna start here and then I'm going to end up here. And then I'm gonna start here and end up here. And once you get that first one figured out, it's so much easier to go ahead and do the others. It just takes practice. So I'm not gonna do the whole thing on this one, but I wanna just show you um, here, I made this um, cute little curly cue. Uh, I didn't have a plan. I just was practicing, trying to figure it out. And I started at the top and then had it go down like that. So you could try something like that. Um, I've also added in some uh, straight lines. You could see these here don't go to any of the dots. So again, they don't have to go to a dot. I just included the dots on here as a um, guideline for you to practice and to get an idea. If you really love doing this art project, you know, certainly just grab a blank piece of paper and start. You don't have to have these dots, but it's helpful for us today. Let's put a little petal shape in the middle here. Like that. All right. How is it coming along? Are you enjoying this? Are you, do you think that you like doing the curved lines or the straight lines or both? All right, so here's something else I wanna show you. Uh, this one we didn't get all the way done with, but it's, we started out using mostly lines then we added even some like um, squiggly lines on here instead of a smooth petal shape line or a straight line. So there, it, there's just endless possibilities of ways that you can create. So let's go ahead and try doing something similar to this. This almost looks like it's curved in the middle, so I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna draw the lines here and then curve along here. And then maybe some diamonds here. It's almost like you just grow it from the, from the center out. There we go. Now later on, you can come back in this uh, diamond here and you can, um, you could draw lines You can um, squiggle. You 
and do circles. Let's see, I wanna try doing this um, over here. So we're gonna go start at this dot and end up at this dot, but we're just gonna do little hills. There we go. And then we're gonna start at this dot and go to this dot and do little hills. And they don't have to be identical. It's totally fine if they're not. So I started at this, um, point of the diamond. So I'm going to start from this point. There. So then you could sit here and think, how do I want to connect to this? How do I want to um, add something in there? Do we want to use more curves or more lines? So I think I'm just going to do this. Oops, I missed that circle, but that's okay. And then, let's see. Now that looks like it doesn't match. It's not the same, and that's perfectly fine. Um, that's what I like about these projects. You can make them anything you want. If you want to add something here. You can do this. So I think by now um, you have an idea of uh, what you want to do. I will show you um, this stuff again. These are just samples to give you ideas if you don't want to go back and uh, rewind the video. You can take out your paper, get an idea of what you want to do. And then here's something that I printed off that you could try to make something similar to this. You can see the dots here, 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 here. So you can create a beautiful flower. Just practice on those white papers before you take off and start doing it on your black paper. If you're comfortable, uh, right now you can go ahead and get out that black paper with the dots on it. Um, I'm going to try to make something similar to this. But again, don't follow along with what, what I'm doing. Use your own creativity and make the one that you like the best. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. All right. So I'm seeing already that uh, my paper dot, the dots on my paper might be placed a little bit differently than the ones on this sample flower, but I'm still gonna try to make this work. quite as nice as that but again this is why you have to practice this is why if you find something that you would like to make that you enjoy practice on those white papers first so I only ended up with four petals and over here there's six but I'm still going to make this work So here are my stems for these other flowers. And then I'm just gonna have to get creative here. And go off the dots. But it, again, the dots are really just a guideline. I 
one's a little harder for me. All right, let's move on to the other side and I'll do one more along with you, but then I would really love it if you would send me your, your projects so I could see how they turn out. All right, I'm going to try um, something else while you're making yours. There's my center. I did not draw a circle on this one. This one's a little bit easier for me. I really think personally, I have an easier time drawing straight lines. Let's see. I'll try another curved one here. <laughs> All right, like I said earlier, I am I really like drawing these types, but when I start getting with the larger curves, I just can't do it, but I bet you can. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna let you create. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you would love to share your creation with me, I would love to see it. You can post it in the comment section of our Facebook post, or you can even email it to us at youth at newlenoxlibrary.org. See you soon at the library.